Hello and welcome to Chicago Land. We are here in C Open. No truck NIS this week, so instead we are visiting Chicago Land. No truck NIS, of course, because the real trucks don't have anywhere to go. It's an off week. They are not racing Chicago Street Course or anything. So we're at the other Chicago track, I guess is the logic. <laughs> But uh, we're heading up for qualifying here. We've just got OSR this week. Thought about doing what Nick did and kind of editing one of uh, Daniel's setups from a different track to fit Chicago Land, but ran with the OSR setups and was feeling okay. Was feeling all right. So we'll just go with this. You set up seemed decent enough. Hoping to get a low five, potentially. Or at least that's what I was able to get on my own in the open practice beforehand here. With draft, I was able to get to the fours, but I don't think I can get there without draft. So, um, it is full throttle all the way around this place. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first uh, the biggest thing is just not breaking loose. Let's see if we can pull that off. It's wanting to do it. Ooh, I had to chase it up a little bit there. Uh, at least I was able to avoid getting into the wall or anything. Okay. Could have kept it lower. Potentially. Save some time. But, still not too bad. Let's see if we can get anything else out of it flat too. Just gonna naturally be a tiny little less speed. As the tires wore just a bit. Maybe a little more grip. If the tires have warmed up. Oh, we'll actually get into the floor. Sweet. Okay. I wonder if uh, the play was actually to go easy the first lap. And then push our lap two. I wonder if that was actually the way we should have done that. But either way, I'm happy with that time. I didn't think I could get in the fours without draft. But of course, the uh, track conditions might be slightly different here. This is kind of a weird pit road to get onto. Uh, ooh. Just made limit in the pits. That was. <laughs> That was pushing it a little bit too much. Kind of a weird pit road to get into here. It feels like, like a pretty sharp corner. I feel like uh, if you take your time with it, you can uh, get on pit road just fine. But uh, it is in fact a race. <laughs> so trying to get on there quickly can lead to problems. And uh, that's the tricky part, right? So... We'll switch over to the race set before I forget. Race set, everything's set. Okay. Yeah, I just changed the uh, steering ratio to what I prefer. Uh, a couple names in here that I recognize as being aggressive drivers. Higher I rating guys that can be pretty aggressive, but that's uh, to be expected, I think. We'll just have to keep our eyes open for all of that stuff. I don't... Uh, Feel like I need to lead every lap or anything. And uh, while the Q set seems to have done a pretty darn good job, I am still on a free race set, so you don't know. Maybe I might have a little more trouble keeping up during the race itself. We'll see. Right now, qualifying looking pretty good, though. I bet the uh, one, if they are qualifying, he's not. The one is choosing not to qualify. Right, he's uh, going to be. Okay. All clear. Uh, one of the guys that kind of comes from the back and makes it three wide <laughs> turn one. That's what I've seen in the past. Whether or not you enjoy that kind of thing. That's uh, what I expect is probably going to happen there. I just know I've, he's starting. He started in the back in the past before. He's a 7.4k I rating person that wins a lot of races, I imagine. And having raced him before, I know he likes to start in the back and then pass everybody. So, 
one example of uh, some of the aggressive driving we might see. I think we're going to get pole out of this. Thank you, OSR. Qualifying setup. Got the job done. Look at that, a tie almost for third. At least up to the third digit past the decimal. Well, starting off all right here. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Well done, mate. But again, race could be a different story. We'll see what happens. All right, let's do it. One to go. Next time by. Line up on it is a. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Yeah, three point k strength of field. You gotta remember that uh, that is not visible. <laughs> I've got race labs, race lab, singular lab. I have I have that still just uh, off screen. And so I can see uh, safety ratings, I ratings of everybody around me, strength of field, estimated race time of 40 minutes, assuming it goes green. Don't think it will, but maybe. Good, but could go green. But there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of very close racing here. Given that it's uh, basically Daytona, not really. It's I mean it's all flat foot, but you know you've, you're going to deal with tight, loose conditions and stuff, so a little more to it than that. But it is flat foot, and that means there's going to be a lot of close racing. There's going to be three wide. There's going to be three wide plus. You never know. You saw that in one of my most recent races, Gen 4, at uh, wherever we were. I'm at the wrong track. What, what track were we? In Gen 4? Las Vegas, that's right. We revisited Vegas after uh, just doing it in Gavin's league race. Which I'm look for looking forward to tonight. It is Thursday as of this recording. Looking forward to that race tonight. It'll be Atlanta, Legacy Atlanta, for his Gen 4 league. Very excited. But for now, we are in Chicagoland. Juliet, Illinois, I think, is where it technically is. How many laps we got on a full tank? 44. We're going to be able to go just past halfway. I think the plan, if this goes green, is to pit on lap 41. Let all the people that plan to do it uh, at exactly halfway pit and spin out, if they plan to. <laughs> and uh, that way we can come in lap 41. You know, kind of balancing our risk versus reward type of thing. And if anyone uh, undercuts us, maybe we'll have their draft. And that's not such a bad thing either, so. Hopefully it'll be a clean race. First gear start, maybe? Second gear. Looks like second gear to me. Oh, restart zones. Forgot that's a thing. We're gonna have to do this correctly. We have to wait till green comes out on the initial start. Let's put that uh, dash up for a second there. Okay, we're good. I feel like I had pretty good reaction time there. Good enough. Okay. Are they wrecking already? It sounded like, didn't it? I will be taking the apron. You save time down there. So why wouldn't I? I guess. I have the benefit of not worrying about dirty air. 
and in my limited practice I actually was finding I was on the right rear for the first couple of laps that might change as the run goes on but if I can get out of their draft that's not such a bad idea I feel the car pulling or the truck rather pulling to the left Pulled away a little bit. Maybe we can get out of the draft so they aren't getting free speed out of me. Just a tiny lift off, maybe on entry. Honestly, I don't even know. Is that going to be necessary? Maybe we just go. I feel like I'm barely doing anything to the tires or anything. I'm probably wrong. I'll probably regret not lifting off more, but... I feel like I'm keeping the wheel pretty straight. Plus the whole, like, no dirty air thing. That's helping me. Uh, they can't keep it green. Dang. Really enjoying that lead I just had. But I knew this could happen. Lots of close racing here. The three involved. It's like they've had the toe as well. Thirteen, I see on uh, pit road or something. Or, you know, on the relative. I guess uh, they're not. They didn't have to tow. I thought they had just flashed onto pit road, but that's not what happened. Too early to pit. Pit road is now open. That's annoying. I escaped draft how I how I wanted to, but then now they're just right back up to me. So, some good that did. Why is my cue bar being annoying? Why is the internet so bad here? It used to be good, and now every time I race, there's something going on up there, in the top right. Oh, that's frustrating. I hope I'm not blinking. I hope it's just a little bit not perfect. <sighs> Everything should be okay on my end. This is the ISP just being garbage. I really don't want to have to like call them and be like, hey, fix something. Because it's not working properly right now. So do something about it. I really don't want to have to do that. But sheesh, man. It's been like two weeks it's been doing this. Were you on the outside or you want to get in on the inside? Get to seven. You hit the wall, Austin? I was on the inside. I'm the one that got rear-ended by you when the guy in front of me checked. I had it saved and all of a sudden somebody's going across my nose. Yeah, you get loose out of the corner, and then the, I guess the seven hit the wall or something, because it came across my nose all of a sudden. That was me. Yeah, I just I clapped the wall off the corner, and it just spun the wheel on me. That's my bad. Yeah, we got a trio of trucks on pit road. It looks like. Guys that got heavy damage from that. So now we will be able to choose. I just knew somebody. I ran by myself. Somebody there for a long time. Give it to. 
be able to choose where we go within the uh, the restart zone. Yeah, that was me. We're we're running good. I I was loose on the outside every lap by, and then it just got tight one time. Uh, you live and you learn. What's my nose look like? Your left side door is destroyed. Everyone seems to be very chill about the accident. Sounds like maybe someone hit the wall. I don't see anything. Maybe bounced off or something. We'll see That's later. 40 seconds to repair, so maybe it's on the right side. I don't know. Well, coming to green again. Uh, we'll see uh, if our tires are much worse than the guys that we got a gap on previously now. You have control. Maintain the pace speed until the restart zone. Then go. to enter a little bit shallow there. I didn't want that guy just diving it in. Not quite a block, but probably a good idea to keep the uh, lane open on top anyway. Got some space again. That's nice. I'm glad the tires haven't been destroyed already. Do you think that dirty air is hurting them? They're making their trucks tighter back there. Really helping us out. Okay, my left side's in the grass a little bit. Oops. I swear I didn't mean to do that. I wonder if that actually works to help uh, cool the left side tires off like it did in that one uh, 24 hours of spa or whatever. Wasn't that <laughs> where that happened? Some road cars were dipping their tires into the grass to cool them down. Controversy. I don't know. Doubt it would do much for this. I do it intentionally anyway. Just cutting it as close as I can on the left side. I'll be honest, I don't know if it's necessary to uh, do any lifts. I feel like we're on the right rear. It's just, uh, it feels like super speedway racing, like it's not really doing anything to the tires. Again, could be very, very wrong. I could be regretting this later. For now, it feels just fine. There's the one, he's made his way up to P2. Seems to be catching. Barely turning the wheel at all. Lots of banking here in Chicagoland. So with caution, we'll move back our planned pit stop time. A couple laps. Maybe lap 43. Otherwise, everything has, is going to stay the same. We'll see if the, t the uh, number one can catch us, despite the dirty air. I imagine that's going to be something tough to deal with, though. As long as we hit our marks, keep the foot... Keep the pedal down to the floor. Probably going to be tough for him to reach us. Barring any yellow flags that does it for them.
kind of holding steady at that point seven mark right now. <laughs> at the grass again. Oops. Just got tight. Truck just got tight a little bit. That's what I'm waiting for to happen to me. I wouldn't even really call that tight. I just would call it not quite as grippy for a second. Oh, it's actually getting loose now. Pushing for the wall. That was bad. I'll probably gain a tenth by the end of the straightaway on that. Maybe not. Tire's starting to feel it though. He'll start catching us, I imagine. That's okay. I wanted to learn what the tires would do, what I needed to watch out for. Now we know. Man, the internet is so bad right now. I I'm probably blinking at this point. That's so annoying. Why is our internet so bad? It used to be good, I swear. I'm not even going to want to try to... Yeah, it's so bad that we're getting discontinuity. Uh, it's not like we're downloading anything or anything. Like, at least I'm not. Wife isn't, she says, so I don't know why our internet has been so bad. It's acting like we're doing a huge download or something, but not. Nah. Shouldn't be a problem, yet it is. Wow, it's even getting worse. It's going to disconnect me from the lead at this point. Do light lifts now. Yeah, let's hit the wall. Good idea, idiot. Uh, I'm so worried about this internet thing, I'm like, not even paying attention to my marks. I can't even battle this guy if he gets up to me, because my internet's so bad. So frustrating. We have slight lifts now, trying to help with this uh, tire situation. They haven't said I'm blinking, so maybe I'm not. Oh, he's moving up a lane. That's interesting. Is that working for him? Did that corner. Well, he did higher line one and two last lap. We'll take his line here. Give him the dirty air up there. And it seems to be better at this point. Don't know about 3 and 4. Usually 1 and 2 is better high line here. It's common though. How's that high line work for the five? It's the runoff. Okay, Thompson, let's 
He runs Highline better than I do in 1 and 2. That'll get him a run. I'm going to be forced to try Highline 3 4 this time. Now there's some bumps up here I have to watch out for. Get around him. Clear. Get some dirty air, and we will reclaim the lead. Gonna have to do Highline 3 and 4 again, though. All good. This is uh, this is tough. Decided to make three wide. Clear us. Gets the wall a little bit. The next car is raining. Well, up, 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 up. Yeah. That was it. Pushed into the corner. Battling close up there. Very tight racing for sure. I think he might want Highline 3 4 now. Lens definitely changed. That was a 32.3. Now we're getting frame job drops. Gotta love hardware issues. Just making all kinds of things troublesome here. Really gotta focus not getting in the wall. Oh, five. Speaking of, might have just tapped the wall a bit there. Tires have worn, but they don't feel too bad. Obviously, the uh, 5 and the 1 have got better truck conditions than us at the moment. Wow, they are getting real close. Keep thinking they're gonna flip each other in the quarter panel or something. On exit, they get so close a bunch of these times. Eleven's falling off bad behind us. That's interesting. He might have hit the wall or something. I didn't see. We 
might try the bottom again here, three and four. Just see what's left down there. Empty big lift off. And the right front's not as happy anymore. We gain through center, but is it enough to offset the run off we would get? I don't think so. I think it's definitely high line at this point. So we'll stay up top here. If one is really trying to get around the five, but it's just not happening. Entered very high there. That was higher than I planned to enter. Thankfully, able to avoid getting into the wall, and it'll give us a nice run off. Wow, they were like nearly wrecking up there. That's crazy. They're just a bit better right now, but I am P3 and feeling pretty good. Thank you, Facts. Five all the way by the wall up there. I feel, a bit with, I feel like with how underpowered these trucks are, you don't even really benefit as much from getting by the wall. Of course, that might be why he's in first right now and I'm not, but... I feel like we're doing just fine, kind of just keeping top lane as they drive away. So what am I talking about, but <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it this way. I don't trust myself not to hit the wall. Wow, we just got bad arrow right there. I think from the truck on the from the one truck taking the bottom line. I think all of a sudden we felt some uh, push from that. Or the tires have given up. One of the two. Just a couple more laps. We'll head into pit. Nearly collide again. They're so close up there. I don't really want to announce my intentions to pit, to be honest. I think we do it now, though. I want to undercut them a little bit so I can get into their draft when they come through. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I have anything for them anyway, so we'll just we'll stick to the plan. That scene was actually kind of nice, three and four right there. Man, they're pulling away though. You've got about three laps of fuel left. You've just done a Only three laps of fuel yet left, so yeah, we'll come in this time. Point seven back. Should probably tell them, but I don't want to give away my plan. Uh, cut it close. I think we're good, though. I want full fuel if uh, it's not if it's not already given it to me. I'd like this truck as loose as possible. Uh, slow entry to the box. That's okay. Fifty-three, fifty-eight. That's fine. They're all going long. Those tires coming at you, boy. It's easy. Yeah, 
Okay, we're gonna be on fresh tires. Got another one coming, Ross. They can't stay up too much longer. I know we only had like about three laps of fuel left. Get some draft here. Gotta watch out for other guys pitting. We do have guys pitting ahead, so... Take the middle line, alright. for him there. Just had to be smart about that. Thought about shooting middle three wide, but that just seems unnecessarily dangerous. This guy needs to get by the wall. So I can get my best angle. Corner. Man, they can't have much fuel left. Some of these guys. Be interesting to see where this cycles out. This guy's draft, so we're not going to take the uh, apron this time around. I see a number one truck falling back behind us. So we are 2.8 in front of the 1, 3.3 in front of the 5. They have fresh tires, however, and also we don't have any draft at the moment. So that's going to hurt us as well. However, maybe it'll be nice not to have any arrow to deal with. We'll see. Final holdout entering the pits. So we shouldn't have to worry about getting trapped or anything. The guy ahead right now was the guy involved in a uh, wreck early on. He's just hoping for a well-timed caution, which I hope we don't get. I hope this goes green. I like my uh, position right now. don't think it's a winning position necessarily, but it gives us a chance. You never know. Feels good to have gained some during green flag pit stops, though. That's always a great feeling. Definitely push the envelope on entry. Almost too much. I have a bad habit of doing that. But it worked out. So long as our internet hangs in there, I think we can get ourselves a nice finish here. Also, we gotta have, like, not cautions happen. Three finally given in. And cautions to not happen and not get caught in a stupid late restart or something. So the one and the five almost definitely going to catch us again. Might be able to latch on to them at least. We'll lead some more laps, that's always fun.
OSR set feeling pretty good. I think it's doing what I need it to do. Keeping us in the fight and a 3.0k strength of field. Now, so not the strongest in the world, but a solid strength of field. Just make it quick, Jamie. The one's almost already back to us, though. Not gonna fight him too hard, I don't think. I think I'm gonna let him by and try to leech off of his draft, to be honest. Getting a little bit of looseness as he approaches. I might not even be able to hang on to his draft. He is fast right now. Four lap fresher tires. Oh, it's getting loose on exit now. Already. Really what I wanted to feel. I feel like it's too early to start running the high line, though. Five should catch us. So he is still 1.8 back for now. I think we would be able to keep a P3. Looking at the times. Although the 11's pretty fast. And on fresher tires. Let's see what happens. High line here. Here to last lap. No, not quite time for the high line yet. Good to know. Maybe it is time for the highlight. I got really loose down there. Anticipate the high line in three and four coming in later. But that was pretty loose right there as well. So I don't even know, man. slower though. I don't know. I can't decide whether it's time for the high line or not. I think it's time for me to fall off. Because I think my tires are just not great compared to uh, what else we have around us. I think that's all that's happening there. How much we can do about that. battle I think is going to be trying to hold on to P3. Sorry about that. Got a hind is using the higher line now.
So I guess we are now too. Made an attempt to get by us there. Tried to do a slide job, but couldn't quite get clear. We're just running our line, so I'm going to just keep trying to hold on to it. Bad corner, though. I got really uh, loose. The lift off the throttle quite a bit. You. Why? Why is he doing that? Why would you do that? You're out of this race. That's annoying. Sorry guys, but I'm trying to run down the leader to not keep from being let down if possible. Okay. I guess, fair enough. Doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. <laughs> Able to keep this spot so far. It's gonna get a run there though. It's gonna get us this time. He's going to have a better run than us. Oh, maybe not. I thought for sure he had it there. The car outside. That's a stupid move. Outside, clear. Car outside. Terrible idea. I do not want him to try that again. Stuck his nose where it did not belong. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Got tight on entry, that might be it. Car inside. Joke's on him, he thought I was taking the apron. I don't want the apron, I want the outside. He's got me here though, now he's got the outside and I don't have enough run to uh, clear him. I'm not going to do a slide job to try to pass him again or anything. He earned it, he got it. Gee whiz, though, he's almost in the wall. <laughs> I thought he was getting into it for sure. I don't know how he kept it off. He got it. He got it there, for sure. Still keeps momentum, though, somehow. That's very loose. The 11 is only 0.8 behind us. Let's see if we can even hold on to third. I think battling might have ended up hurting us long term. 
Because I think if we just let him go, maybe we keep third. But I thought for a second we were going to be able to hold him off. We'll see. out there. I can try to pass him inside, that's not gonna work. We're right about them still. Probably just all the draft, but. It's interesting. Levin's only point four back, but he's only got five laps to catch us and then pass us. This five is making me so nervous. I really think he's going to get that wall right in front of me. Ugh. The lift off for him there. This is really going to help this 11 catch us. He's basically here already. I'd expect to be able to get us inside here. We got someone making us loose down there. Levin's got a lot of tire left. He really pushes the envelope there to get past us. Took a risk there and it worked out for him. Could have easily hooked him on our nose though. Flag flag. Just gotta stay out of the wall. We should be able to finish before. Is Eleven gonna try a bonsai move to try to get past the five? We'll see. Definitely end up someone in the wall here with the dirty air from the lap truck surprising them. But nope, everybody's ready for it. Good race, good win. Sorry for being annoying as hell to pass. B4, there's the checkered flag. There's the flag. It's over. I'm just gonna step it in there. Good job. Very good job. What? <laughs> All right. You got loose there, uh, uh, Dave. That wasn't. We'll get P4. It's right That's where we're supposed well. to finish, according to our car number, truck number. That's what I said the first time. <laughs> I had the perfect view, I was mindful of you, you definitely got loose, Dave. We get it done. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't the one. one. I was behind both of you there, you got loose, and then kind of both of you were fighting for the same position. There. So we weren't able to hold I on to P3, but I'm still very happy with that finish. In a strong field. Yeah, Woo. yeah I don't know uh, what's wrong there, wrong there Dave. 59 57 that final run so we're actually on the right rear more that's pretty crazy yeah I, I, he was definitely loose off the corner which caused him to touch you 
when I got out of it. All right, hopefully our internet didn't cause too many problems. No one said anything about blinking, so hopefully that uh, wasn't bothering anyone. The only thing bothering people was my <laughs> very insistent high line running. But we'll see you in the instance. Pretty good race. Thank you. <laughs> Met an early caution. I think that was it, wasn't it? So that was pretty good stuff. Here's us starting from the pole. That was not to last, but oh well. 13 up in the wall. Ooh, this is what caused that crash. Okay. I see. So there was someone bouncing off the wall. Twenty-one's a little high up the track. That might have put the thirteen on a higher track than he wanted to be. At the same time, you've got uh, oops, wrong direction. You've got the twenty-one. Oops. Oh my god, I'm terrible on these replay controls. So at the same time, you got the three following the guy head, kind of lifting off him, hitting the apron. Twenty-one's getting behind him, probably making him loose. Everything just kind of all comes together. Thirteen. Bounces off the wall, not able to keep it up there, just bounces off of it. And uh, there were your three that got caught up in that one. Ooh, some near misses back here. The caution comes out. I believe that was gonna be this is gonna be your only wreck of the race. The only major one. I think probably the rest of it's just gonna be wall hits, if I had to guess. Like this one. Yeah, we're already on lap 19. Oh man. What was that? Blown engine? Yeah, you can hear, like, he was, like, on the chip. That was weird that it, like, sent him to the left, though. Maybe that was a shifting issue, even. Not sure, but that's, uh, gonna end his race. If that first wreck didn't already. 15, finding the safer barrier. Ooh, 12 gets it good. He's still driving in a year before Safer Barriers. Sixteen getting tight on exit, finding the wall. And I think uh, this is right around the end of our run here. Eleven had a very aggressive entry. It worked out for him though, I guess. He ended up passing me. He needed every little bit he needed he uh, could get. More wall hits going on. Whoa, major loose moment. Whoa, for the 16. The 8 just catches him. I think the 8 was trying to go below him. And then uh, probably not much more to see here. We've got me following the 5 into the corner. He gets the wall a time or two, maybe. Could just be a prediction code that was causing that with how close we were running it. But that's going to be it. So very, very clean race overall. Just had the one wreck. And uh, I'll definitely take that finish. For sure. P4. I was hoping I could hold on to P3. But, you know, I gave it my best. <laughs> uh, the 11 was very aggressive getting around me. And it worked out for him. He kind of did a clear on my nose without getting a clear call. But, uh, that'll, uh, that'll work. That's fine. B4, top 5, fun race. What more could you ask for? <laughs> That'll do it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Some fun racing here at uh, Chicagoland. I'll see you next time. Shoot, almost forgot. Here are the results of the race. I've got to try to remember to do this. Got to make it part of my habit. 30-14, uh, strength of field. Top 4 finish for us. 154 champ points. 25 I rating gained and uh, fastest lap goes to the number one truck not too surprising there here are the rest of your results some of the guys caught in that early crash pulled into P4